if your Microsoft 365 mailbox fills up, you won't be able to send or receive anything until you first delete some email. Meaning, you first need to delete some email before you can send anything else. However, most companies need to keep a five-year record of all email for compliance purposes. The question then is, how would you back up the email and where would you store it? Now, the traditional process that most companies use would be to export all the old email to a PSD file. Then, store the PSD file on a local hard drive or company server, but there's a few problems with the solution. What happens if the PSD on the server becomes corrupt? What happens if the local hard drive crash or the machine gets stolen? So, to avoid any potential loss of mail, Microsoft has a cool feature called Online Archiving. And in this video, I'll show you how to configure and enable it. So, the first thing you want to do is log into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center with the Global Admin Account. Then, select Exchange. Next, we're going to select the user we want to enable online archiving for and click others. Then we'll select manage mailbox archive and toggle the switch to enable it. Then we'll give the online archive a name. and click save. So, when the online archive is enabled, the user also automatically gets assigned a policy. Now, to check the policy, we'll have to head back to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and select Compliance. Then we'll select Data Lifecycle Management and Exchange Legacy. Then under the MRM Retention Policies, we'll select the default policy. As you can see, the default policy is set to move all mail older than two years automatically to an online archive. So if you've enjoyed the content, and you've learned something new, please like, share and subscribe.